Hola amigos, ¿cómo están? Bienvenidos. Welcome to Spring Spanish. Yo soy María Fernanda and I am one of the Spanish teachers at Spring Spanish. And today I want to talk about seven diseases that only happen in Mexico. ¿Y por qué entre comillas? And why between quotation marks? Well, because they're not actual diseases, but slang we use to refer to... Well, you gotta watch this video first to find out. So, ¿estás listo? Número uno, el mal del ojo. And well, my friends, believe it or not, this is a very common disease in Mexico when someone gives you an evil look because they envy you. They wish you to fail in life or just because they give you the bad vibes. That is what evil eye means. From the moment we are born, las mamás, mothers, voy a red bracelet so los bebés pueden estar protegidos. Babies can be protected from the sickness. Y cuando estás grande, and when you are a grown-up, then the remedy is very simple. According to Abuelita's book, you need to grab a neck y tienes que pasártelo por todo el cuerpo. And you have to rub it all over your body. When the egg cracks and has a thick texture, you got the bad energy or the evil eye out of you. Número dos, el patatús. This one is really dangerous, mis amigos. It could lead to una pérdida de conocimiento, loss of consciousness, or maybe just a near faint. This one is popular with las mamás y las abuelitas, Mexican mothers and grandmothers. El patatus is provoked by an unpleasant surprise and you are so upset or surprised that you might faint. Por ejemplo, for example, if you came back from el antro, the club at 6 a.m., or they just found out que te hiciste un tatuaje, that you got a tattoo, best solution, prepare her un té de manzanilla, a chamomile tea, or just ask for forgiveness and say the magical words. Te amo, mamá, perdóname. I love you, mom, forgive me. As we Mexicans say, más vale pedir perdón que pedir permiso. Número 3, el soponcio. Acabas de recibir malas noticias? You just got bad news? And you are feeling extremely anxious? Watch out, porque te va a dar el soponcio. You are going to have the soponcio. This Mexican disease is suffered by people who receive extremely bad news and their reaction could lead to un dolor de cabeza, a headache, baja presión, low pressure, or even desmayo, fainting. Just take some paracetamol or relaxing pills and you're safe. By the way, do you need a cure for translating in your head and feeling clumsy while speaking Spanish? Check out the free Spanish training we have on our website where we explain a four-step method to have fluent Spanish sentences roll of the tongue by learning something we call chunks instead of wordless and grammar rules. Immediate relief promised. The link is in the description. Número 4. Empacho y mal del puerco. Ay, mijita, ya deja de comer que te vas a empachar. Basically, my grandma telling me to stop eating, otherwise I will suffer from indigestion or what is worse, after eating too much, you will suffer el mal del puerco, which is related to the fact that you have eaten so much that you are not able to work nor be productive, unless you have taken una siesta urgente, an urgent nap. Fun fact, in some cities in Mexico and Spain, they still have the working schedule with a two-hour break for lunch. And why is that? Well, el mal del puerco hits you so strongly that you need to take a nap to be able to work in the afternoon and evening. I wish I was joking, but that's actually a very true fact. <laughs> Número 5, el aire. Si te dio el aire, ya valiste. If you got the air, you are doomed. This disease has indigenous roots in Mexico. They say you can get this disease if las personas caminan en lugares llenos de mal energía. People walk in places surrounded with bad energy. And si te da el aire, if you get the air, you might catch a flu or your mouth can deform. Ay, ay, ay. Siempre usa suéter. Always wear a sweater por si acaso, just in case. But don't worry, the remedy for this is, of course, un huevo, an egg. To remove the bad energy, remember? What if you're a vegan? 
No hay problema. You can then use hierbas de olor to clean your aura. Número 6, desconchavado. My father used to sing to me a song called No tengo manita, no tengo manita porque la tengo desconchavadita. And then he would smack me with my, mi mano desconchavadita, <laughs> which means you have either broken something or just hit yourself so hard that it's not possible to move. Ramos Remedies, pomada de la campana, Dr. Bell's medicine, té de árnica, árnica tea, or if you have really broken something, please just go to the real doctor. <laughs> Número 7, ñañaras. Do you just get chills? Maybe after watching una película de miedo, a scary movie, and now you're espantado y con ñañaras, scared and with chills, then you're safe. This disease is very normal, especially for coyones, cowards. Well, we have two remedies. Uno, comer un bolillo para el susto, eat a piece of bread to overcome the fear, or my favorite, ver caricaturas, watch cartoons. This is actually what I used to do when I was a child. And I swear, you would eat un rico pancito, a delicious bread, and enjoy una caricatura divertida, a fun cartoon, and then you're safe. 